Time now for some technical support. Berkshire Hathaway reporting fourth quarter results that increased 28% year over year. And today, we're taking a look at the technicals of three of Warren Buffett's top holdings as of December 31st. At least Apple is his top holding, but what about the rest? Well, our chartist today is Jessica Inskip. She is director of product at Options Play. So first up, Bank of America at 9.5% of Buffett's portfolio. This is his second largest holding. So Jess, what do the charts say about this one? Absolutely. Well, Bank of America now is forming a base. So when we are depicting a downwards trend, we look at a series of lower highs and lower lows, which is what was happening here. Mm. But we can also look at the 200 weekly moving average. It's a smoother line. That's this line here. Yep. Because it involves a lot of prices. We overcame this. So this is acting as an area of support. Hmm. And now our next stop is actually overcoming this 36 level. Because if we want to be outside of a downwards trend we have to break those lower highs. So as soon as we make a higher high, we've done that here. So that's why we say it's forming at base. Mm. But now we just need it to overcome 36. But that, that's solid. That's a base. But what happens is when we're in this period where we're going out of a, a downwards trend and want to move into the upwards trend, we have to overcome the previous tips, if you will, of that trend. And that's where we are. And so you believe we can do that? I believe we can do that, but what happens, according to the Dow theory, you get an area of consolidation. It's psychological. That's okay. this really strong level. There's a lot of price points there. Mm. That means if you held it throughout this downturn, you might end up here and say, okay, I'm at break even. Let me get out of it. So the question is, and, and areas of resistance are really just an area of supply. It's will buyers come in? Will mm. it be more demand than there is supply? And that's the test that we have at 36. But so far, this is a base, and that's, that's great. That's okay. good to see. All right, well, next up, we have American Express. This is above its third largest holding. What does chart tell you about this one, American Express? So American Express, we're looking at the 13 weekly moving average. And if we've looked at my charts before, 13 represents one quarter worth of prices. Okay. And so because we look at the market quarterly, that's earnings, this is trending upwards. That is really good. What I'm looking for for Bank of America, this has done. So we had an area of consolidation that we broke out over. Mm. No longer are there any lower lows or lower highs, now we're making a series of higher highs. And that's hmm. indicative of a lot of bullish momentum. We've got that support right around here, around the 188 level. And now what we look at, now that we're getting into the super highs based on the previous trend, we can do something called a Fibonacci extension, which is a fun math equation. Like, I remember this, <laughs> Fibonacci. Yeah, and, uh, but it's actually, that's where resistance is right now. So that's around the 218. And that's the 138.2 level. But the next one is actually around 235. So there's some upward momentum once huh. we get past now. So 13, a lucky number for American Express, perhaps. So we're looking at periods and for Taylor Swift, too. And yeah, finally, yes, let's look at Coca-Cola. <laughs> Jessica, what are the charts saying about this one? We know this is a Buffett favorite, uh, obviously a name that he likes to trade or hold on to and drink. Yeah, absolutely. And I, I'm definitely for the dividend for this one okay. because the chart does not look as yeah. well. So this is a longer moving average in comparison to the 13. A 40 weekly moving average is three quarters worth of prices. So over the past three quarters, we're, we're kind of flat. You can We look at the slope of the line in addition to where the stock is above mm. or below, access support and resistance. What's good is this is acting as support right here. However, it's trending, it's sloping downwards. Mm. And that, that is not good. So what it looks like is an area of consolidation. It's stuck being range bound. My resistance is around this, this 62 level. And we okay. need to see that overcome. Otherwise, it's just going to be like a ball bouncing from ceiling to floor in that resistance. And when you talk about this as a dividend play, I mean, is there anything technical that we should be aware of when you're talking about that piece of it rather well, than the price itself? Sure. So, I mean, dividends are... It, it's less of that growth-oriented stock, yep. not high tech heavy. So they tend to move a, a little bit less. See, these yep. are even $5 increments in sure. comparison to the charts that we saw before. Good point. Meaning this isn't a lot of movement, but and this is a large time frame. This is three years. Yep. So it's really the difference of the type of investor. Are you growth or income? And something that gives you income but stays at a steady price may not be a bad thing. All right, so we're bullish on Bank of America and American Express, but Coca-Cola, not so much. You've got it. All right, Jessica Inskip, thank you so much for being here with us. Thank you.